these steps and throw people down the steps. And you <laughs> prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never satisfied. No? No. No, I never will be. In the meantime, she falls in love with... No, no, the, you fall in love with me. She falls in love with the detective and seduces him and tries to get information. Right. I mean, it has been said that this might be our last year, but then you don't know. Surprises have happened before. I still find things in this man that are interesting. I still find things that uh, I would like to develop. And how can it be dull? How can it be uninteresting when you have Linda Evans and Joan Collins and all those uh, very attractive ladies? Want to see it again? No. They haven't yes. seen it yet. Yes, I haven't seen it yet. From the beginning? Yeah. All the Don't make me love. Um, that's why I'm playing it, so get used to it. Don't make right. me look. I'm making you ready. Okay, action. What the hell are you doing here? I've got to say hello. I said goodbye. <laughs> now get out! <laughs> No, we've done quite a few bed scenes together. Go ahead. And uh, he didn't, had never done even a kiss on camera before. No. So I had to kind of show him the ropes, teach him what it's about, bed scene etiquette. You know, it's very important. So, and how did she do that? She's an excellent teacher, and I would recommend her to anybody else that wants to learn about love scenes. And it is one of the best. <laughs> you're, one you're, of them? You're in the top ten. Ready? Right. Hit it again, the same spot, something's happening. How much fun is it to play uh, the scenes with uh, Joan Collins? Well, Joan, Joan and I get along real well, so yeah. we have a lot of fun. You know, you saw, we, we cut up a lot. You yeah. know, uh, Joan's not here today, but John Forsyth, John James and I, we have a lot of fun, too. I just stay here and let the scene die. I'll go like this. That's <laughs> it. You know, is it on purpose that you that there are some leaks to the gossip papers so that there's just something to read about? I think the gossip papers don't need any leaks. They make up their own stories. They do what they like. Sometimes they, you know, sometimes they get in, in information that they can uh, that's true. They get it from some of the cast people or from the or from the crew people. Yeah. But but I find that very little of what I read in any of the gossip papers is true. Certainly not about Alexis dying the gas but that's not true. No, but what do you think? Not the way she dies. No. She's dying. That's not the way she does. <laughs> I didn't say that. That's enough. Okay, All right. then I hit it again. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Can you picture? Right. Nobody ever dies on television, a nighttime soap opera, because you may want to get them back. Yeah. And then you don't want to go through dreams and all that kind of thing. Um, I don't know what our ending is this year, but it's going to be different than it is other years. But I assure you that I'm not, I'm not going to get killed. But I'm from New York. There's a lot of Dutch stuff in New York. I know some Dutch. That's right. New Amsterdam. I can yeah. say, can you enkele dronkies gaan halen? We got a Very important. Right. right now? What Very is, important. What does that mean? Right now. Uh, Hi, Sailor. Could you get me a drink, please? Uh, okay. <laughs> right? I, I won't translate it as dirty as it is. It's no, not. No, no, no. It's, can you get me a drink, please? Okay. Um, I actually only know two sentences because I had a Dutch bodyguard once. And one is, can, can you enkele dronkies gaan halen? And the other is, uh, can you hear wachter of de blieft? Two important phrases. What do they mean? None of your business. Oh, well. So you know how to say none of your business in Dutch. <laughs> Nobody is sure about uh, which will happen next year. Are you sure for uh, yourself? I, well, my contract's up, yeah. so I'm I'm out of here. You know, unless they come and you know talk to me. Uh -huh. um, the I would think, you know, my my guess is that 
even though we're low in the ratings, we're still doing something for ABC at that time, at that time slot. So I think it'll go next year. Yeah. Well, I've got one more year left in my contract, so that's a given. After that, I don't know. How about you? I have one more year after her contract. How would you react when uh, they ask you to be on this series for another t 10 years? Oh, I'd say uh, hasta luego. <laughs> no way. We'll go on until they cut our heads off, you know. You well, hopefully we'll play a thousand and one nights, but... Um, we don't know. We'll go. We'll go on as long as the public likes us. Yeah. As long as there is a certain segment of the public who wants to keep tuning in. Thanks a lot for stopping by. We enjoyed it. Bye. Bye. Bye.